Welcome to this series of First Friday Reflections of the Sacred Heart. Today's excerpt is taken from Personal Consecration to the Sacred Heart by Father Elkins. We invite you to take a moment to place yourself in the presence of the Lord. Silence your heart from the many things that occupy your thoughts. May this be a moment with the Lord to experience the immense love of His heart for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I give you thanks for the gift of your heart to me, and I consecrate this time of reflection to you. I ask for the grace to grow in an even deeper love for you through this time of prayer in your presence. You must hand over to me everything, with absolutely no exception. Those who make an exception trust me little. Entrust to me the needs of your soul. Place it in my hands. Your salvation, your degree of glory in heaven, your progress in virtue, your faults, your passions, your wants, everything. There are persons who are always worried, fearful, and discouraged in the spiritual life. If this is a result of mortal sin, then it is but as it should be. The state of mortal sin is indeed so wretched that no matter what the cost, you must leave it, for it makes you my enemy. Make a big effort, come hurrying to me with all speed, and I shall assist you. Go to confession often, for that is an excellent remedy. Moreover, if you have a sincere desire to amend your life, great faults are not an obstacle to consecrating yourself to me, for the consecration itself will be a capital means of freeing yourself from that state. There is another class of people who do not sin mortally but nevertheless are always gloomy and downcast because they feel they are making no spiritual progress. Now, I do not approve of that. In this matter, too, one must do everything possible as far as human weakness allows and leave the rest in my hands. Heaven is a beautiful garden which must be complete with every variety of plant. Not all can be cypresses, or lilies, or carnations. There must also be time. Offer yourself, then, for this place. All these concerns, those worries and anxieties, in persons who do not sin seriously, proceed from seeing their own honor more than mine. Virtue and perfection have a double aspect, that of being to your own good, and that of being to mine. As I have just said, you must hand over to me everything with absolutely no exception. Those who make an exception trust me little. For the rest, you must not forget that I shall accomplish the work of your perfection much better than you would yourself. Entrust to me your body and health. I shall also take care of your health and life. These two you must entrust to me. I know what is best for you. You do not. Take the ordinary means to preserve or restore your health. Lay aside all groundless fear and anxiety and leave the rest to me. Persuade yourself that it is not doctors or medicine alone that bring a cure for sickness, but that it comes to you from my hands. Take a few moments to talk to the Lord about these areas of your life, your body and soul. Thank you. 
Ask him to help you give him complete control of each one so that you can be free to occupy yourself with his interests and affairs. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I give you thanks for this time of reflection in your presence. May I give you glory in all I do this day. Amen. <laughs>